I like helping people. I enjoy helping people. I like making a difference. And I, I like I like fixing something. I like taking a project that's um, that that's I like taking something that's not been done and doing it. We have a veterans program here that we have actually just gotten taken off real good. Uh, that is in conjunction with a, uh, American Legion Post 81 and the VA, where they are sending us some veterans who qualify for uh, post traumatic stress syndrome and TBI dogs, traumatic brain injury, assistance uh, service dogs that are uh, completely task trained to accommodate those needs and those veterans come in and learn and train with the dogs to uh, complete approximately an 18 month program to uh, reach uh, the status of completely trained service canine. They are public access trained dogs and they will do primary functions such as any other service dog would do. However, they provide additional tasks which could be integrated into the specific needs of the veterans, such as interruption of anxious behavior, interruption of nightmares, going and turning on a light, bringing a flashlight, clearing out a room which is vacant if they're hesitant to walk in it, and particulars like that. We actually had someone to share with us that he had not slept in his own bed since he had been back from Afghanistan and he felt like that he needed someone to just have his back and, and a friend and a, and a dog. He wasn't asking for much. We certainly did provide him more than what he was asking for. But one of the things that was in his testimony was that he had finally been able to go home and sleep in his own bed for the first time in a long time since he had came back. And that, that was pretty special to me as well, not giving any credit to myself, giving most of the credit to the dogs and their ability. But yes, it absolutely meant a lot to me. One of the things that veterans want is to protect their space. One of the things he learns to do in, in, the, in stores is to block the space for the veteran. Oh, he block. Here, block. Good boy. Good boy. Now block. The symptoms of, of PTSD uh, for myself is always being high on alert, uh, very vigilant of every surrounding loud noises, anything at my house, I am very on, on edge type deal. And I have night terrors and, and bad dreams where I wake up sweating, not knowing where I'm at. You know, in Litchfield or Baghdad, I don't, I don't know. In Iraq, everything's black and white. You know what's going on, where you're coming back home. And I have no structure no more. My life, it's just turned upside down. Dr. Petroselli and Tammy, they came to me, mentioned a service dog program and they were wanting to help veterans. The Legion, I took it to the board and we uh, decided to charter help support the program as well. These training dogs will actually be comfort to that veteran to know, hey, it's okay. They will actually be able to go clear the room, look under the bed, make you feel comfortable where you can sleep in bed. Me being an Operation Iraqi Freedom Combat Veteran, I know firsthand how a dog can actually save a, save a life, mine personally. I had a Basset Hound, and the sentimental thing about him was I would have never bought a Basset Hound, I promise you. But my, my friend Staff Sergeant Thomas Turtle Clemens that uh, died in Iraq always told me many times before he died that he can't wait to get home and, and just have that basset hound and just sit around and so long story short with it I ended up getting this basset hound named him Donnie and uh, he ended up like saving me and, and it's just the comfort from him that I know firsthand without these dogs the, the veterans will be at 22 suicides a day and they will not change will not get better until we actually help out programs like we're doing here. It's just the, the morale of a, of a soldier and a, and a dog. We always say, you've got your six, and that means we've got your back. That dog is going to have your back. The very first service dog that I ever trained in mobility, combination, medical alert, the lady came to finish training with her dog, and one of the things that really moved me when she came to get her dog, she reached out and hugged me, and she said, you have no idea what this means to me, I have not been out of my home in nine years. And the thought of this person who had never met me, trusting me to come, it was important. To have someone to come and let you know that a dog that you've trained to assist them with their life and that they have impacted them greatly and made a difference, that's actually the biggest reward that you can ask for right there. 
that above all was in.